What's up guys, Tegan here, High Point Scientific. Today's video is going to be a product overview on the Celestron Astromaster 114 EQ. So the Celestron Astromaster 114 is great for viewing the planets and the lunar surface with your family, say out in your backyard. It's also capable of viewing deep sky objects and it's transportable in a sedan if you like to go camping or like to travel to darker skies. So there are a few reasons why these scopes are so popular and well liked within the amateur astronomy community. The long focal length due to the Bird Jones optics and the built-in Barlow lens are going to provide high magnification and high magnification means that these scopes are great for viewing the planets or the lunar surface and even deep sky objects, especially if you're in dark skies. These scopes do come with a corrected image eyepiece, which means up, down, left, and right are as viewed through the eyepiece. Up, down is not opposite, neither is left or right, so this makes navigating the night sky much easier, especially when you're finding an object. Additionally, you can attach a power shot or a point shoot camera to the back of the Astromaster 114. Included on the OTA rings is a quarter 20 adapter, which threads into the camera itself, so you can take long exposures of the Milky Way or photos of the moon. So there are a lot of good qualities with the Astromaster 114. There are a few things that we recommend you consider when purchasing. Firstly, you do have to collimate the scope. We recommend you use a Cheshire eyepiece rather than a laser collimator, and this is simply due to the built-in Barlow lens. Secondly, the scope is not recommended for daytime use given the equatorial tripod, which does take a little bit of time to get used to. Next, the tripod is lightweight, but it does leave a bit to be desired in the sturdy department. If it was a little bit more sturdy, then it would be fantastic, but it's not but it's good it just isn't as stable as you would like it to be and the last thing to consider is the fact that this scope is likely to give you what is known as aperture fever seeing Jupiter's red spot or Saturn's rings or individual craters on the moon is fantastic and this scope is truly capable of doing all of those things but after having those kind of views you may be wanting more you may be wanting a larger aperture so you can see more detail that being said if you choose to go that route this scope is awesome to have as a portable backup so that is it for this week's product overview if you have any questions let us know in the comments below you can also reach out to us at highpointscientific.com where our non-commissioned product advisors will be more than happy to assist be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel so you don't miss any of our future videos thank you again and clear skies